Hi friends, this is Leela. Welcome to my channel Leela Webdev. So in the previous video, we have successfully tried to got the uh, get the numbers number A, number B, and also we got the num we got the operator also. So we got the operator and we got the numbers. Now what we need to do? So we need to perform the operation according to that operator what we have got it. So now let's try to see it how we can do it. So now there are four. We uh, as we try to keep this calculator as simple. So we have four operators. There is nothing but addition, subtraction, multiplication, and division. So we need to write the logic. So keeping in mind these four operators only. So let's try to do it. Now we know how to call this calculator function. So we have the calculator logic. So as a separate file. So there is no need to write the calculator logic and all those things. Just we need to call the methods according to that one. Which operator the user has typed. So we need to call this method according to that one. Now let's try to do it. So here we have new calculator and let's try to remove these two things. Okay. So first we have added this number A and number B we need to do according to the operator that your user has typed. So whether we need to add it, subtract it, multiply it or divide it, we need to decide it according to this operator. Now how we, how can we do? So here there we can achieve this one in the two ways as you know that we can use it the if else conditions. So chaining if else conditions or otherwise we can use the switch operator. So let's try to use the switch operator. So here switch and I will be using this operator. So operator means here it will be having plus minus into and division. So here I will write the cases. So case you will be having uh, four cases. So case and I will write like this. So one four. So four cases I have added the four cases. And in these four cases first one will be addition, subtraction, multiplication and the another one is the division so these are the four cases and we know we need to add the break here so for every case we need to add the break so I have added a break that's it so now we have the four cases in the switch condition and now we need to write according logic according to this one so if we have the addition what we need to do so let's try to add result here so we need to store the result in one variable so I'm having one variable let result and in the subtraction what I need to do result is equal to calculator okay dot add as it is this one is a plus we need to add number B to this one so that's it right now if you have subtraction so here what we need to do so we need to subtract that number B so subtract number B and the multiplication so if you are having the multiplication what we need to do we need to multiply here multiply and now if we have the result here we need to do the division so that's it so we have applied the switch operator according to that operator what we have given so now let's try to console the result what is the result we are getting so now let's console the result whether we are getting correctly or not if you want you can add also you can also add the default thing so as we are dealing with only plus minus into and division so I am not writing the default thing. If you want means you can also write the default thing. So we are not concentrating more on the logic. We need to test the code, right? So that is the reason I am writing the logic here. So if I refresh here and if I write, write 1 plus 5 plus 3 and here we are able to get the 8. If I do the minus and I will try to get the 2. If I try to do into and I will try to get the 5, 3 is 15 and if I try to do the division so now we are able to successfully get the result what is the operator that the user has given now we should not console the result what we need to do we need to show it in the result here so we have made the static number 3 right so here we need to show the result so now let's try to show the result here whatever the output we are getting let's try to show it here now the code where it is in the simple character.html here is the result so let's try to use this span okay so span and here in this one i will write here span and also i will write this one so let's wrap this one in a element in the span element okay and now let uh, and i am giving an id here id result okay to update the value for this one so take this id and here so after getting the result we need to update that one in the span so here the span tag we are having right we need to update the result in this span tag Okay, here we need to update it. Let's try to update it here. So in order to update the result, what I will try to do is I will try to create a new method, something like update result of, and I will pass this result. So what is the value I need to update? I will pass this result here. So 
so now let's take it here function update result okay so this is the result and i will be getting the result here so this is the function now first what i need to do in this result function so first we need to get the element so what is that element i need to get i need to get this pan element with this id so first we will get this element so here if i try to write let element is equal to sorry is equal to document dot get element by id of result okay so now we will get the element here now if element is there okay if element is there so if element is there that means if element i am able to find the element now i want to update that element i want to update the result value in the element in the element means so here the value whatever the data we are having we need to add it the data so now what i can do here element dot inner text okay element dot inner text or inner html if you are having html data means you can use the inner html so for right now we are having result is nothing but a text only right so we will have the only the result so let's try to take it result okay so that's it now let's try to see the output so whether we are able to get the output or not let's try to see it so here if i try to refresh this page and i will be doing 5 plus 3 see the result has got updated here instead of get consoling so the result is getting updated i will try to do 5 minus 3 so 2 5 into 3 15 so we are able to get the data 5 divided by 3 1.66 something like that so we are able to successfully update the result in the document in the tom now what i want to do is for example if i do 5 slash 0 and now we are able to get an error that uh, we have thrown an error right and a number cannot be zero so in this scenario we need to write the result so we need to catch that error and we need to show it that appropriate error here that number cannot be used by zero please select another like that we need to show the error so that we can so that the calculator it will be very nice so improving this error only is the main important right so normally the user whatever he types we don't know so like this we need to catch it so now in the next video what we will try to do is so we will try to improve the error so if the user is uh, divisible by 0 and all those things if he gives like this or otherwise 5a something like this if he tries to give so we need to we need to do according to that one and we need to show that errors let's try to see that one in the next video so hope you understood about this uh, what i i can say this calculator program and all those things if you want to have uh, if you want to get this program so you can have github repo have created a github repository so you can get you can go get there in the github repository and you can get the code so this is a simple calculator whatever the thing i am creating so i am pushing the code to here so if you want so the video so for two two second video third video according to that one i have created a branch and i have updated the code but for that particular video for that particular video code i have uploaded in the particular branch so you can if you want the code means you can get it from here so hope you understood about this one so in the next video we will try to uh, improve the errors So if you have any doubts or any suggestions please post the comments below to this video and if you like this video please do support me by subscribing to my channel thank you